Well, I've been cutting a lot of wood lately. I needed some wood, and I kind of like to get at it early in the year rather than leave it too late, you know. So, so the issue I've been having is that there's little to no snow. So I've been carting my skidoo back and forth from the cabin up to an area where I can access some wood. And of course that requires loading my skidoo aboard the truck, taking my sleigh, and that old skidoo ramp is there, taking it up to my area, and then repeat every day. So until you get used to it, it's, it's a bit of a racket getting your skidoo in the truck. And I tell you, one thing that I can't stand are aluminum or steel or whatever, these tri-folding or bi-folding, whatever you got, these ramps. You can see I got it jammed in there now. It's rubbing up against my skidoo there. Sometimes they want to slip out. And anybody who's ever used these ramps can already know what I'm going to say. They'll break your fingers. They'll break your thumbs. They will strike you in the shins. They're so unhandy. It almost deters you from wanting to put your skidoo in the back of the truck. That's pretty bad. I'm not exaggerating here. So for a couple years now, I've been meaning to build a nice uh, ramp, homemade ramp, uh, that'll be user-friendly. And when you want to use your snowmobile and load it aboard a truck, it'll be a no-brainer and simple. And when it's simple and practical, you don't mind doing it. Can't stand them. Oh, can't make it up, guys. I can't stand them. And today is the day I'm gonna build my own. I got a good idea in mind. It's not really my idea. I've seen a lot of people's different designs. I'm just gonna kind of put my own spin on one. Hopefully it works out alright. I think it'll be alright. upgraded those 2x4s just on the back of the truck to 2x6s. I don't think it's going to be enough room in between. You're in the shot there. Big butt. Step one, I cut that off there so I can put up my tailgate. Now I'm going to put a folding piece here to come back the rest of the way over my tailgate. Look at that beautiful sun. Oh, she's chilly up today. I think it's minus 22 degrees Celsius.
can see there's a little discrepancy here in height. So I got lots of height here. So I'll just take a little rip off the bottom of each of these sides of these bottoms here. It's about five eighths of an inch. I could have brought this all the way back to the tailgate itself, the end of the tailgate, but it doesn't really matter. We're only about uh, maybe four and a half inches from the end anyway. The track of the skidoo is going to stick it over the end no matter what you do. So, but all the bulk of the skidoo and the track will be inside the truck. And I've had my skidoo in even shorter bed trucks than this. Should be all right. If I want to put my tunnel cover on, I still can. Lots of uh, height in between here. Lots of room to put whatever you want under your tunnel cover if you so desire. You get her. Now it's time to ramp things up. Dead joke. So I got four two by fours and lots of screws on this. And that is really strong. I know I've winched thousand pound moose in the back of my truck on one of those. Now the carbides are gonna dig into the plywood. So I'm gonna take this uh, plastic or Teflon type stuff off my old skidoo ramps, which of course broke like most sets do. Junk, as in junk. Oh, I seem to have everyone's attention. Oh, I need cozy air and being over by a fire like this. Put some comfort food. <laughs> Oh good. New Year's resolution. Try to eat out here, I wonder. How about you guys? Now my carbide's got something to slide up on. I'm thinking I'm gonna put something across there to help uh, with the traction on the actual track of the skidoo itself. Not quite sure what I'm gonna use yet, just same. I'd almost cut those bars off and use them, you know, but I think if your track spins, and it most likely will, it'll probably tear it off. I think I'll try it. Worst can happen is if it comes off, I can replace it with something else. They went on there a lot more snug than what I thought they would. Now I could have bolted them down, at least a couple bolts each one, but I don't have any bolts, so we'll try this first. Well, I love this so far. Now I need some kind of a hook system to uh, keep this up in place, because if not, the track will just shoot this wrap back. So I've got an idea now. I think I can hook that right on there and over there and keep it in place. Thank <laughs> you. 
give that a try in a minute. Start to lose light in the day. Now I got to make sure I straps this main box inside of my uh, pan of my truck just for security. Guys, pretty good, I must say. the best part of the day fooling around but uh, anyway when you got no plan you're just kind of going on a whim it takes a little bit longer and filming as well certainly but I enjoyed making this video I can't wait to use this new ramp of mine stay tuned to the next project the next ride the next overnight camping trip and it'll all be on the next video and until the next video take care of each other get outside and enjoy everything outdoors and we'll see you next time guaranteed Get outside and enjoy everything I